Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice square root algebra problem, which is the square root of x plus 7 plus the square root of x minus 5. This is equal to 6. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution. Now to solve this math problem, we are going to apply three methods. Let's start with method 1. Now, in method 1, we have the square root of x plus 7 plus the square root of x subtract 5. This is equal to 6. So, the first thing to do here, let's square on both sides. So that now, the square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x minus 5 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2, which can be expressed as a squared plus b squared, then plus 2 times ab. So let's apply this algebraic identity so that now this is the square root of x plus 7 raised to the power of 2, then plus the square root of x minus 5 raised to the power of 2, then plus 2 multiplied by square root of x plus 7 multiplying by square root of x minus 5, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 6 squared, which is 36. Now, the next step is to eliminate this square root sign, the first square root sign here, so that we have x plus 7, then plus, let's eliminate the second square root sign here, so that we have x minus 5, then plus 2, into the parentheses, this is the square root of x plus 7 multiplied by square root of x minus 5. This is equal to 36. So this is x plus x. This is 2x. Then we have 7 minus 5. This is plus 2. Then plus 2 into the parentheses. Now, we can as we can express square root of x plus 7 times square root of x minus 5 as a single square root here where we have x plus 7 multiplied by x minus 5. Everything here, this is equal to that 6. Now, from here, we have that the square root of a times the square root of b. This can be expressed as a single square root of a times b. So that now, here we have 2x plus 2, then plus 2 into the parentheses, this is the square root of x times x, this is x to the power of 2, then plus x times minus 5, this is supposed to be minus 5x, then now we have plus 7 times x, this is 7x, then we have 7 times minus 5, this is minus 35, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 36. The next step is to take 2x plus 2 on the right hand side so that now here we have 2 into the parentheses. This is the square root of x squared. Then we have my plus times minus 5. This is minus 5x plus 7x. This becomes plus 2x. Then minus 35. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to that 6, subtract 2x minus 2. So we have 2 into the parentheses, this is the square root of x squared plus 2x minus 35. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to that 6 minus 2, this is that 4 minus 2x. The next step is to square on both sides. Let's square on both sides. Now squaring on both sides here we have 2 squared which is 4 multiplied by, now this is the square root of x squared plus 2x minus 35 to the power of 2. So this means we can eliminate the square root sign so that here we have x squared plus 2x then minus 35 cross the parentheses this is equal to now, that's 4 minus 2x to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared 
minus 2 times a b applying this algebraic identity then here we have that 4 to the power of 2 then plus 2x raised to the power of 2 then minus 2 multiplying by that 4 multiplying by 2x so this is let's open the parentheses here this is 4 times x squared this is 4x squared then plus 4 times 2x this is 8x then we have 4 times minus 35 this is equal to this is equal to minus 140 and this is equal to that 4 squared this is 1156 then plus 2x squared this is 4 x to the power of 2 then minus 2 times that 4 times 2x this is minus 136x now we have 4x squared here and 4x squared here so this simplifies so that now we have 8x here so let's take minus 136x on the left hand side so that we have 8x plus 136x this is equal to 11.56 now let's also take minus 140 on the right hand side so plus 140 so we have 8x plus 136x this is 144x and this is equal to 11.56 plus 140 this is equal to 12.96 so let's divide both signs by 144 here we have 144 so if you simplify here we have that x is equal to 9 we have that the value of x is equal to 9 so this is by applying method 1 so let's proceed to method 2 method 2 now in method 2 remember we have the square root of x plus 7 plus the square root of x subtract 5 this is equal to 6 now we can let the square root of x plus 7 be equal to m and we can let the square root of x minus 5 be equal to n so that now here we have x plus 7 this is the same thing as m to the power of 2 and we have that x minus 5 this is the same thing as n to the power of 2 so this implies that m plus n this is equal to 6 okay and that m squared minus n squared this is the same thing as x plus 7 subtract x minus 5 so we have m squared minus n squared this is equal to x plus 7 minus x then minus times minus 5 this is plus 5 so this means that m squared minus n squared this is equal to x minus x this simplifies then 7 plus 5 this is equal to 12 now we have that m squared minus n squared this is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as m plus n multiplied by m minus n and this is equal to 12. now we have that m plus n this is equal to 6. so let's substitute here with this 6 so that we have 6 multiplied by m minus n this is equal to 12. So we can divide both sides by 6 and this implies that m minus n this is equal to 12 divided by 6 and this is equal to 2 so we have 2. Now we have that m plus n this is equal to 6 and we have that m minus n this is equal to 2. These are systems of Turing equations so let's sum these two systems of ring equations so that we have m plus m this is 2m n plus minus n this is equal to 0 then 6 plus 2 
this is equal to 8. So we can divide both signs by 2 so that now we have that the value of m is equal to 4. We have the value of m is equal to 4. Now if you recall, if you recall, we have that the square root of x plus 7, this is equal to m which is 4. So we can square on both sides so that we eliminate the square root on both sides. So squaring on both sides, this means we eliminate the square root sign here. This is x plus 7. This is equal to, we have 4 squared and this is equal to 16. So let's take plus 7 on the right hand side so that x is equal to 16. Subtract 7. And you have that 16 minus 7. This is actually equal to 9. So we have the value of x equal to 9 by applying method 2. So let's proceed to method 3 from here. Now let's apply method 3 to solve this problem here. So let's take square root of x minus 5 on the right hand side. So that we have the square root of x plus 7. This is equal to 6 minus the square root of x minus 5. So the next step is to square on both sides. So let's square on both sides from here. So that now, here we eliminate the square root sign. So this is x plus 7. This is equal to, now let's expand this. This is 6 squared, then plus square root of x minus this is x minus 5 raised to the power of square root of x minus 5 raised to the power of 2 then minus 2 times 6 multiplied by square root of x minus 5. So this means we have x plus 7. This is equal to 6 squared which is 36 then plus Let's eliminate the square root sign here. So this is x minus 5. Then minus 6 times 2. This is 12 square root of x minus 5. Now, here we have x plus 7. This is equal to, now we have that 6 minus 5. This is equal to 31. Then plus x minus 12 square root of x minus 5. 5. So we have we have x here and this x simplifies so that we have 7. This is equal to 31 minus 12 square root of x minus 5. So let's take 31 on the left hand side so that now we have 7 minus 31. This is equal to minus 12 square root of x minus 5. So 7 minus 31, this is minus 24. This is equal to minus 12 square root of x minus 5. So let's divide both sides by minus 12. Here we have minus 12. Let's simplify here. So that now, 24 divided by 12, this is equal to 2. So we have 2 is equal to square root of x minus 5. So we have the square root of x minus 5. This is equal to 2. So let's square on both sides so that we eliminate the square root sign. And this means that here we eliminate the square root sign. We have x minus 5. This is equal to 2 squared which is 4. So let's take minus 5 on the right hand side so that x is equal to 4 plus 5 and this is equal to 9. So we have that x is equal to 9 by applying method 3. So both method 1, method 2 and method 3 provides us with the same value of x which is equal to 9. So last three, let's check if this value of x satisfies the equation as far as now let's verify that the value of x which is 9 satisfies the equation now if you recall 
we have that the square root of x plus 7 then plus the square root of x minus 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 6 let's substitute the value of x in this case the value of x is 9 so it's 9 plus 7 plus the square root of 9 minus 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 6 so we have the square root of 9 plus 6 this is the square root of 16 plus the square root of 9 minus 5 which is the square root of 4 this should give us a value of 6 now the square root of 16 this is 4 plus the square root of 4 this is 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 6 now 4 plus 2 this is equal to 6 and this is equal to 6 so the left add side is equal to the right add side and this affirms that the value of x a which is equal to 9 satisfies the equation so can you refer the steps like this math problem and subscribe please like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now